Hello, everyone, and welcome to, honestly, I think it's the last anime I have to talk about this season. Um, yeah, usually I have like 13 or so to talk about, but I just stopped watching so many that it's like I only got like one, five, seven, I don't know, something like that. Although there are second seasons out there that I am watching, that I'm enjoying, um, like Realist Hero or uh, Attack on Titan's final season. That's pretty good, you know, throwing it out there. But I feel like I don't necessarily need to discuss the second seasons of shows unless they kind of get shit, you know. Oh, also, Art of Fretta's second season, which, to be honest, hasn't been that great. First season was better on Art of Fretta. Yeah. From commonplace to world's strongest, whatever the whole thing is. They really focused way too much on the side characters this season. And I didn't like that. Hajime and company did not get enough uh screen time I mean, they got a lot of screen time don't get me wrong but uh i feel like 90 percent of it was them and then 10 percent was the uh stupid normies in the kingdom and if they would have just taken that 10 percent and rolled it back to like one percent of screen time for the people in the kingdom it would have been great because uh no one cares about the normies throwing it out there anyway this time we're talking about she professed herself the pupil of the wise man. This one was interesting. Um, I hadn't seen a manga for this one, uh, so I was pleasantly surprised to see uh, an interesting isekai come up out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, so the premise for this one is it is an isekai. Kind of. Uh, I guess, you know, it is an isekai. But anyway, the, the, the main character is a guy who... Uh, is playing this game. He has like this old uh, character who's like this summoner, uh, and his name is Danbolf or Danbolf, something like that. Uh, anyway, him and his friends have this like kingdom that they like, are in charge of, and he's one of the nine wise men who run it along with the the king at the top, right? Um, one day, however, he logs out, and he's in the process of using a uh, secondary character creation thing. And he creates this uh, little girl character with this uh, white hair and all that, whose name is <coughs> Mira. Sorry, excuse me. Mira. Her name's Mira. And we start out the show with, uh, I, guess, I think the first episode is basically before he gets trapped in the game, right? It's showing... Danville fan, the gameplay that they were doing. And like, uh, there's this bit where it's uh, him and the king uh, role playing in the, uh, the king's castle. And after they drop character, they just start laughing and comparing uh, and showing, like, oh, look at all these pictures I got from when we uh, defeated that monster horde and, and stuff like that, right? Uh, it's really cool stuff. Uh, and then after that, the second episode begins and we kind of go from there and figure out that, oh, hey, he was sent to the game world or something like that as his secondary character, because that's the one he used last, apparently. Um, but as you go through it, you find out that apparently um, he's been out of the game world for like 100 years or something, while other people have, like other players have been in the game world uh, longer, or like they've been there from like the start of the 100 years. They just don't age or something like that. Um, and, like, throughout the time, like, more players show up throughout different years and stuff. So it's uh, kind of odd. But everything's basically the same, except for the, uh, the NPCs and whatnot have sentience, essentially. And so they're still trying to, uh, you know, rule the kingdom, and do all this stuff. And of the, the nine wise men, or the nine wise mages, or whatever you want to call them, uh, basically there's only... One that's like at the castle now. The rest of them are all like missing in action. And once Dan Bolf gets here, he's the, the second one that they've found essentially. He gets to the kingdom and finds out what's going on, finds out that basically only one other wise man is in the city. And so they're really short staffed because everyone else is either missing or they've not checked in or all this other stuff. And apparently their friends list still works and they can see that, oh yeah, this person is online or they're alive. And in the game, they just uh, haven't checked in. So the whole premise of the show is Mira going around 
uh, trying to find the other wise men to strengthen the kingdom and to, you know, figure out what's going on, really. Um, and the whole professed herself pupil of the wise man is because, of course, she's not going to be like, oh, yeah, I am Dan Wolf, the, uh, the one-man army wise man who uh, summons armies to destroy my enemies, right? Uh, because people will be like, what? You're a girl. You're a little girl. What do you mean? So he uh, had to come up with this thing where it's like, yeah, so I'll just be like the pupil of uh, Dan Wolf. And uh, that's why I'm so good at summoning magic. Teehee. You know? So, uh, yeah. But it's a cute little show. Going around, doing interesting things. Fighting monsters. Uh, showing off summoning arts. And, like, growing as a person, I guess. Uh, very, very cool. Very, very cool. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was very interesting. Very interesting. And I, I hope that it has a second season as well. Because this one... Honestly, one of the better ones this season. You know? Uh, there was... So, so, so today, uh, the day that the, this show comes out, uh, for the, the weekly ones, it, it's this one, the Genius Prince, and then that uh, one anime that I dropped, which was the Fantasy Bishoujo Juniki Geo's Joseph. Is that weird one where the guy gets, like, gender-swapped? And his, like, friend gets isekai'd. And then, like, the, the guy who got gender swapped's ability is only that he's really beautiful. And people, like, fight over him. And they, like, have this weird dynamic where, like, oh, no, they're in love kind of thing going on. Which is just weird. And it's supposed to be a comedy isekai action thing. But, it's like, it's just too cringe for me. So I could not watch it. But this one. This one here. The... the People of the Wise Man. It was a good show. Yeah. It's one that I actually have very few complaints with. Actually, maybe even no complaints with. Because I didn't read the manga beforehand. So I had no idea what to expect going into it. So I could not nitpick everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I could with uh, uh, The Strongest Sage. Or Land of the Dale. Or Genius Prince. Or the other ones that I read the manga to beforehand. Because I didn't realize they were getting anime. You know? And so, uh, good stuff. Good, good stuff. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one because it was, it was just good. Like, the character design is not the best. Um, Mira was cute, don't get me wrong, but she's, the, the, she's pretty much a very generic white-haired lolly. Um, there, there's not a whole much that stands out about her. Uh, they do put her in a lot of different costumes, uh, which is funny at times. And the other characters, they're just like normal adventurers and stuff. The, the, the king, he has a nice kingly outfit, but he's also pretty generic. I think he has like this yellowish green hair, I want to say, or maybe it's actually blonde, but uh, you don't see him much. And he does seem very generic to me as well. I think Prince Charming with like blonde hair, and I think he got the prince. Like, that's your guy right there. He has a red cape too, I think. But uh, not that well designed. If you want to hear a rant on by how character design makes shows like more popular, um, in my opinion, go rewatch the uh, discussion on the Genius Prince because I talked about that for like 10 minutes about how their characters were really well designed and I liked them, and I really want to buy figurines of them. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's really all I got to say about this one. So I, I really want a second season for this because I really want more answers to like, where are the other wise men? And why did they suddenly get sent to this world? And there was this part in the show where uh, she gets sent to this kind of alternate dimension for like a couple seconds and talks with this demon thing, I guess. And I really want to know more about that because that was interesting. And it's not really like spoilers for that. Like, uh, yeah, like I'm not going to discuss what happened in it, but yeah, something occurs like that. And then it's like, ha, huh, that's a weird thing. And it might have influence on the main story. So yeah. But yeah, so she journeys around killing monsters. It's fucking cool. 
I liked it. She's overpowered because, of course, she's one of the wise men who was at the top and the pinnacle of the game before. So, yeah. Good stuff. I love it. Ah. Anyway, that'll be all for me, everyone. Uh, next time we do an anime discussion, I'll be talking about the, the next season of anime as it comes out, which is right around the corner. Starts next week or so. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch all the, the season uh, that comes out. I'll watch each episode, which first episode, you know, as they do. And then I'm going to just have one video, maybe like 15, 20 minutes long, where I just briefly talk about each show and they say if I'm going to watch it, if I think it seems interesting, or if I'm going to probably not watch it, you know. Because next season, there are some ones that I'm interested in, um, but there's also some ones that I think could be cool, but are also pretty meh, you know. Like, uh, there's Rising of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, that second season that comes out for that one. There's a Komi-san second season, for example, that's going to be cool. Um, Love is War has another season, third season coming out, which I didn't even really get past the first one, to be honest. Uh, there's some cool, I think there's a cool romance anime coming out. Let me just scroll through this list real quick, because I think there were some cool ones. I really liked. Oh, there's a third season of the uh, book girl. Anna. What was this one's actual like English name? Um, the Ascendance of the Bookworm, season three. I watched the first season of that, and then I didn't watch the second season because I got distracted by other things. But pretty cool. There's a Skeleton Knight in Another World, which is coming out. There's a I'm Quitting Heroing, which seems like it could be cool. There's. A the Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. I love all these fantasy ones. There's also Dawn of the Witch, which seems really promising. There's this uh, Otome game, which is uh, trapped in a dating sim. The world of Otome games is tough for mobs. Oh my god, I remember that one! Ah, oh, I think I read the manga for that. Oh, 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 that one's gonna be great. Oh my god, yeah it is. That one's actually amazing. Yeah. That one's going to be real fun. Um, there's the Demon Girl Next Door Season 2, I think. Which I never watched the first season of. Let's see what else we got here. We got uh, this one show called The Executioner and Her Way of Life, which seems like it could be interesting. Black Rock Shooter Dawnfall comes out as well, which I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't even, I didn't really like the first Black Rock shooter. It felt a little weird for me. There's this, um, well, that's an idol anime. I'm not gonna, not into that. It seems like it was a romance, but no, it was a idol one. Love Live has another season coming out. Uh, a final season for Magicka Record, the uh, Madoka Magicka spinoff side story thing, whatever that one was. There's a uh, kind of ninja girl anime. I think it's a ninja girl anime. No, it's called uh, In the Heart of Konoichi uh, Tsubaki, which seems like it could be kind of interesting. I don't know. What else we got here? There's RPG real estate, which seems like uh, allegedly what it is, is it is a fantasy world in which the Demon King's been defeated and so this girl who graduated from high school becomes a magician and then gets put into this, um, like, kingdom-affiliated real estate where she works as a realtor to help people find homes, I guess. There's this one called Don't Hurt Me, My Healer, whereas this is a girl who uh, is a dark elf cleric who invested too much into her insulting skills. And Alvin, a swordsman who has to put up with her antics. It sounds like it might be a comedy fantasy show. That would be cool. Um, there is a Shin Ikitosin coming out. I was big into Ikitosin when I was younger, uh, mainly because I was young. I was a teenager, and their clothes came off when they fought. And I was like, oh, oh boobies. You know, uh, the first episode will receive advanced screening on March 27th. Regular airing will start in May. So that's how that's going to go on. Um, we also have 
Apparently a golf anime, which I'm not going to watch. We've got Healer Girl, which is a story of following four girls who seek to use their songs to heal and soothe people of their world. Hmm. That could be interesting, maybe. Kyokai Senki gets a second season, which is just... I'm not watching it. It was annoying. There's a, a 3D... Or not 3D, a CGI anime or CG anime coming out, which it looked cool, but then I saw that it was CG and I was like, no. Hell no. Um, there's apparently a fourth season for um Yaga yeah, no, Yato Game Chan something or other. I don't know what that is really. It seems like a slice of black comedy. I might have to watch all the ones previous because it looks like it could be cool. Um, and then we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush! Oh, another Yu-Gi-Oh! Which I'm not going to watch. I have not watched new Yu-Gi-Oh! for like a long, long time. And then uh, that's about it. That's really all the, uh, the anime that I'm interested in. So yeah, so next, uh, next anime-related video, I think, assuming there's not a, a show that I'm forgetting about that I have to cover this this uh this season still um we'll be talking about some of those shows that i mentioned after i watch the first season and determine whether or not i actually care enough to watch them because it, maybe the rpg real estate show is boring and i'm not gonna be into it you know for example or maybe one of them has cg animation that i really don't like and i'm not gonna talk about it so, uh yeah there seem to be plenty of isekai and fantasy shows, so I am 100% in. 100%. Also, as a side note, we also have Overlord. The, uh, this is the fourth or fifth season that comes out in summer 2020, which is going to be just beautiful. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. So, Also, apparently the fourth season of Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girls in a Dungeon? Huh. Huh. Bro, I cannot wait till the summer season. That Overlord, ah, oh, good shit. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here because I'm talking about shows that aren't related to what we're talking about today. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching and listening. And uh, like I said, next time we'll be discussing a variety of different anime and whether or not I think they're cool. So until then, bye for now.